Hey guys, it's Ren from Make It by Ren Ren, and if you want to see this look, my shimmery gold party eyes, stay tuned for more. Hey guys, so I am back with another makeup tutorial. Finally, I have been slacking major time, so I'm really sorry about that. But I'm finally back with a tutorial. And this look is something that I was actually supposed to wear for New Year's Eve. I didn't end up wearing it because I forgot some of the major components at home. Namely, the shimmer on my eye, which is the MAC Reflex Gold Glitter. So I didn't wear this look for New Year's, but it's one I wanted to wear and I liked it so much I decided to do it again for a tutorial for you guys. So this look is actually inspired by pictures I found on the internet when I was browsing for makeup ideas for like Kim Kardashian and JLo. And you know like, they both kind of like that nude look, especially with the lips. And especially JLo has that peachy glowy look all the time. So I kind of went with that and I added a little, uh, but I added a little shimmer and a little smoke and lashes and um, I really like the way it looks because it's it's smoky yet it's kind of got that nude look and it's just the peachy peachy kind of thing here and here and here it all kind of is just very warm and flattering especially on tan skin so this is the look and um, it kind of goes with my new hair my blonder hair so I hope you guys like it and if you want to see how I did it stay tuned for the tutorial Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. This is the eye we will be doing. And let's go ahead and jump right into the eyeshadow base. We'll start by using a neutral base. This is Stilo Eyeshadow Base in Medium. Once you got that on, that's going to be just kind of like an all-over base so everything glides over together smoothly. Now I'm going to go for a shimmery base. This is the Make It Forever Aqua Cream in number 13. It's like a very shimmery, kind of pinkish champagne. And it's actually very similar to MAC Bear Study Paint Pot, if you want a good dupe. So I'm just applying this to the lid. This is going to keep and lock your makeup in all night, because believe me, I wore this makeup to the next day for New Year's. And then I'm just going to set that with an eyeshadow that's kind of similar. This is MAC All That Glitters. Any shimmery pinkish champagne will do. With my A Design Flat Eyeshadow Brush. Now we're going to get the crease transition color. This is actually a blush called Copper Tone. I love this blush. I kind of rediscovered it, rediscovered it recently and it's really nice and warm. You can use soft brown for MAC. You can use a tint, anything that's kind of peachy with a warm brown tone. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of blending it above my crease to help me out later. Okay, this is a Revlon um, blending brush by the way. Now we're going to go into more of a shading color. This is Glamour Track by um, MAC, and it's a limited edition. Um, it came out with the Star Flash collection. It's a really nice brown if you have it, but any warm tone dark brown will do. I'm going to start to etch out the outer V color with this Revlon crease brush, just to kind of give it some depth. Okay. So it's kind of contouring your eye. And then we're going to go for a darker color. I am using NARS Mekong, which is a really dark brown. Any dark brown will do. I'm going to use a small smudger brush by Eve Pearl. And then I'm just going to start to etch out the outer V right there. Just like the inner part of the outer V. Just to give it some more darkness, some more smokiness. Then we're going to go ahead and repeat the colors just to kind of blend everything out and just to increase, you know, the staying power. So I'm a little bit more of the Glamour Check, this color, just a little bit more of that. I'm going to take another blending brush. This is the Tarte, I believe, blending brush. Get some more of that blush and blend it out. Okay. So now let's go ahead and move on to the glitter because we can come back and do this. But this is just kind of so that we don't have to do too much later on. So what you're going to do is take any lash glue or lash adhesive that's clear or you could take um, Sally Hansen has a lash glue, I mean a glitter adhesive. 
I'm just using one that came with my Shisem false lashes and it's clear. I put a little bit on my finger and I kind of just evenly distributed it. And now I'm going to top it, tap it right on top of where I have the um, all that glitters eyeshadow. You don't want too much but you want a nice even a layer and by tapping it already makes it tacky. And then we're going to use the gorgeous glitter from MAC. This is Reflex Gold. Oh my god. So it, look, it looks kind of pearly there. But on the eye it will pick up the gold undertones. So I'm using one of these sponge tip applicator brushes that you always never use and you throw away. I keep them for glitter. So now I'm just packing on the glitter on top of where I had the lash glue. And I always save um, my foundation last when I do these kind of glitter applications because I know I'm going to get some glitter falling down. So I'm just patting it on. Then I'm going to take a little bit of glue and get it onto a pointed Q-tip, like the beauty applicator Q-tips. And I'm going to go right onto this little area, the little tear duct area, just so we can have an extra bit of glitter right there. I think it's just really pretty and stands out. We get a little bit more glitter on the tip of this brush. And then we'll pack it on right in this area. See how that little tear duct shines? So, you got that on. Let's go back and kind of blend in some more color into the eyeshadow now that we have the, the glitter. So I'm going to take um, the exact same colors and repeat the process. Okay, now to help with the brow bone blending, I'm just going to take any creamy color. This is from the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette, the matte color right here, which is a really good brow bone color. I'm just going to take my Billy B Fluffy Brush and get that on the brow bone just to kind of help blend out the color so it's not too high up. Okay, then I like to take, take a shimmery brow bone highlight, which I love this color so much. It's the Urban Decay Blunt. As you can see, I hit pan a long time ago. And we're just going to go right underneath the brows. And it's not too shimmery, but it gives you a nice amount of color. Like a nice amount of shine. And you can use MAC Rice Paper if you don't have this. Let's go ahead and fill in our brows really quick. I'm using Tarte Brow Pencil in Medium Brown. I always use this. I actually bleached my eyebrows recently, so they look a lot lighter to go with my new hair color. And as a result, this pencil looks a lot lighter too. Now let's go ahead and start lining. I'm going to do a black in the waterline. We're going to use MAC Feline Cold Pencil. Really awesome dark black. Right in the waterline. Just to kind of darken it up. And then we're going to go for a brown on the lower lash line. I'm going to use this copper color called Spare Change. It came out with the Pearl Glide Pencils. Use any pencil you have. If you have a shimmery brown, it's even better. But it's really just going to be a base. And we're going to bring it all the way up to where the glitter stops as a nice base. We'll take this color again, Glamour Check, and bring it onto the, kind of like the middle, leaving the outer half blank. We'll, and then we'll take Mekong and get it on the same brush that you've pulled some of your brush and get the outer half. And this is going to darken it. Okay, so now we're going to line the top. I'm going to use my current favorite liquid eyeliner, which is a super skinny marker from NYX. And we're just going to go right on top of the glitter, and it's fine to go on top of the glitter. You can still see the liquid liner. You just have to make sure to put enough to cover everything. Okay. Now we're going to apply lashes. I did two pairs of lashes actually just to give it that really sultry thickness. And it's a pair of, um, they're kind of like two pairs of Demi Wispies. But it's not Demi Wispies because the brand is Kiss. But those are like the lashes. So here it is right here. See how it's really full? So I'm going to pop these on. Okay, so the mascara and the lashes are on. And I mentioned this before, but the glitter kind of gets everywhere. So. <laughs> I'm going to take it, um, take some scotch tape and remove it. And then I'm going to throw on some foundation really quick. I'm going to skip this part just because the video is going to be too long. But I'm going to use the Cover FX um, Big Cover Kit. 
and I will be right back. Okay, so I did my foundation using the Cover FX Big Cover Kit, and I use B, which has the darker shades. I guess it's, I had M at first, which is this one, but it's a little bit light for me, so I use this color all over, this lightest color, and then I use the darkest color as like a contour, see? And then I set with the attached powder, and then I um, extra contoured on top with a little bit of Max Blunt Blush. And I put a little bit of this yellow Ben Nye Banana Powder underneath my eyes. So let's move on to blush. So for blush, I'm going to jump back into the Copper Tone, which is what I used in my eyes. And it's going to be really nice because it's going to give me an all over kind of j glowy J-Lo look. And it kind of coordinates with the um, eyes too, so it kind of ties everything together. And I'm going a little bit heavier just because this is a nighttime look. And not only is it a blush, but it kind of almost looks like a bronzer too. And then to highlight, I'm going to use Max Hello Kitty Blush Fun and Games, which I love this blush. Too bad it's limited edition. But I'm going to put it like right on top of it just to kind of give some dimension to my cheeks. So it's like darker and then lighter blush. And then lastly, I will do a little bit of shimmer highlight using MAC Soft and Gentle MSF. And this is just like a fan brush I got from Michaels. So just a little bit of shimmer right on top of the cheekbones. Okay, so for the lips, we're going to stick with a kind of nudish look. I'm taking Cork Pencil from MAC. And I'm going to actually overdraw my lips just a little bit just to kind of give me that extra drama. So what I'm going to do is hold my lip up like this. Looks kind of weird, but when you line it like this, it kind of like gives you like the illusion of a bigger lip, but doesn't look too super duper fake. So on the other side. Like that. See how it gives my lips that pouty look? And then I don't need to overdraw my bottom because that's kind of full already. And then we're going to go for a nude lipstick. We're going to use Max um, Brave New Bronze, which is an awesome limited edition lipstick. Anything that is kind of like a nude will work. Pinky, bronzy nude to just kind of go with the eyes and lips. And then you can take a little brush and blend out the lip line. And the finishing touch to the lips is gloss. This is Dior Attic Ultra Gloss Glow. And I think this was in like peach something. I forget what the actual name is, but it's the one that says peach. And I kind of submerged on this gloss for New Year's. So, on top, just to kind of tie everything in. Again, it's like that peachy, bronzy, glossy look to go with the rest of the face. I'm going to use the Scandinavia 10 Year Younger Make It Finish because um, this one's more moisturizing and my skin's really dry right now and I don't like this powdery finish so I'm going to spray it a couple times. And it kind of just makes it not look as powdery and more dewy. So yeah, that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and this would have been my New Year's look had I remembered that MAC Reflex Glitter. But yeah, um, it's kind of like inspired by J.Lo and um, Kim Kardashian and just kind of like really girly but still smoky and it still has that touch of like makeup fierceness. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out my blog, MakeitByRunRun.com for a full post with pictures and products to use and all the other fun stuff. Until next time, have a great night. Ciao, Bellas.